sassy cats welcome back to my channel my name is heather and today's friday so you know that means another new video so i'm back making regular videos um sorry about the whole technical difficulties last week i don't know what was going on with my phone and the wi-fi and the everything my live streams were just not working and i was so mad and right now the live stream that i posted is supposed to be like 12 minutes and something but it's actually like it shows that it's only 29 seconds and I'm like really so I'm not gonna do anything else about it, it I don't know what to do um, I did like a um, I just lost my train of thought or not my train of thought I just whoa <laughs> I'm like what um, I was doing um a souvenir haul from Myrtle Beach and uh, that's what the live stream was and if you were lucky enough to like watch it yeah so uh <laughs> anyway sorry about all that um, I'm gonna try to do more just like regular videos from now on because live streams obviously don't work out very well so today I'm doing another DIY because who doesn't love a good DIY so today I'm doing a I'm gonna say it again DIY <laughs> um, earring box because I have hold on let me grab it this earring stand right shaped like a treble clef and I have my music note bow and my two little flowers on it and I have a lot of earrings and yeah this looks like it has a lot of space on it for earrings but um it doesn't have enough space for all my earrings and it also would get, like, the earrings would get stuck to my sister's curtains because they're right behind this. So, um, I decided to make, like, a box that I could put my earrings in nicely. Let me put this away. <laughs> okay. So, anyway. So... It's basically just a little box with like a piece of sponge in it. Um, and I have all the earring backings in this little box here. I don't want to like dump them or anything. So I'm going to teach you guys how to make it because why not? Um, like if you wear earrings and you have nowhere to put them all, this is for you. Speaking of earrings, I'm wearing beautiful rainbow heart earrings and I'm wearing my little cuff. I look stylish today. I went to the mall. I was styling. So <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the DIY. I said it again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so what you're gonna need is a little box. I went with a rainbow colored one because it's just beautiful. They had pink and rainbow and I was like, well I really like pink but I also like rainbow. So I got that. Um, it's just a little box. It had makeup in it, but I'm giving it to my little sister for her birthday. Shh, happy birthday, Sydney, by the way. Uh, her birthday's on July 31st. Wish her a happy birthday. Anyway, so it's just this little box. See? Yeah. Not very big, but I don't need, I don't need it, like, to be huge because I can fit all my earrings in, like, a small enclosed space. But I was just tired of when I wanted to grab a pair of earrings, them getting stuck to my sister's curtains, and then I'd have to like yank them out of the curtain. It was annoying. So this is an easier alternative. The next thing you need is a sponge. Now I just bought this like, let's see, I got home like 10 minutes ago. I went to the dollar store and got this handy dandy little sponge. I even tested it out in the store. I took out my earring and um, poked it in. So I bought the one that I poked, obviously. I can still kind of see the hole. Oops. But So we're going to take the cardboard off and I'm going to cut this tag off. And we're not going to use the mesh side because I'm afraid I might get my earring stuck in it. So we're going to use just this plain side. It's really soft. And it's perfect for the box. We're going to Bam, it's perfect. Um, and that's what that's basically the whole DIY, but I'm gonna prolong this as much as I can because I don't know what else to do today. I was gonna do like a weird ASMR video, but I was like, 
I'm too loud to do ASMR. So we're going to rip that off. Oh, I have to cut it. Well, don't worry. I have my trusty dusty little scissors right here. And Great. Okay. Let's cut this thing. So, how are you guys this week? I'm doing pretty good. Oh. Like, today was a pretty good day. I saw my one co-worker, and we talked for a little bit. He's nice. And, uh, I bought a lot of real nice stuff. I got a bunch of shirts. Well, two shirts, actually. <laughs> I got, um, a Willem Belly t-shirt. I'm so excited about it because I got it at Hot Topic. And I'm really excited because Willem is my most favorite drag queen ever. And I finally got one of her shirts. And... Out. It's, oh wait, it's right here. <laughs> Let me show you the shirts I got. Let me. Okay, okay. So this is my Willem shirt. Beautiful. This literally is my favorite drag queen. I love her so much. Um, hey Willem. <laughs> and then I got a shirt from the anime Ruby. Yes, I watch anime. Well, sometimes. I really like Ruby. That was a good one. So let me show you the shirt pretty awesome. I, I love that one. That's a good one. I have a poster of it on my ceiling. Yes, on my ceiling. I, we ran out of wall space. So, <laughs> I hit my elbow. Anyway, what else did I get today? Oh, I got a mini croquet set, but it's out in the living room. I don't feel like getting it, but it's, it's literally like a desktop croquet set, and I love me a good game of croquet. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the project that I wanted to do. Okay. So I'm going to cut off this tag with my little scissors because who needs this? So we're just going to cut carefully along the end so we don't cut the sponge itself. Perfect! <laughs> banging in my basement okay so now we've just got this nice little sponge it's pretty nice and here's all my earrings I originally oh wait first I guess I gotta show you how to properly do this so you just take your box put the sponge in make sure you get a but like seriously make sure you get a sponge that fits and don't glue the sponge into the the box unless you're like never planning on losing an earring down in there because if you lose an earring down there or like an earring gets stuck you can just pop out the sponge you know so just place it in there like so look how beautiful that is yes that's kind of cool that's a little cool design but um yeah so there's your box now originally I had made like a little pillow out of felt and stuffing but it was really hard to get the earrings through but I eventually did it and it was really frustrating and I don't want to deal with it anymore that's why I got the sponge but here's all my earrings plus these ones plus my starter ones that I usually just wear because they're they're nice to sleep in and shower with the little silver starter earrings um, but those are usually always in my ears unless of course I'm wearing a different pair I only have my earlobes pierced so we're gonna start sticking my earrings in I will um, show you all my earrings that I have to make this video more interesting so yeah let's get started I'm just gonna pull them out and stick them in the sponge okay so the first pair I have which are actually the first pair that I bought are these little strawberries in honor of superfruit so um, yeah, they're really cute, and I wear them, I used to wear them every Tuesday when Superfruit was a Tuesday thing, but, um, then after a while I stopped changing my earrings, and now I am changing them again, and so I'll probably wear them tomorrow, or, like, well, tomorrow on actual Friday when I'm posting this video, 
like I said a million times before, I film on Thursdays, edit, and post on Friday. So, okay, next pair. Get them out carefully. These ones are really pretty. I wore them to prom. So, they're little um, rose gold colored hearts that are like empty in the middle with little diamonds. Fake diamonds, of course. They're from Claire's. Uh, they won't focus in here. You can see them good enough. Yeah, they're. I wore these to prom and they're very pretty. I love them. So, let me stick those in the, the foam sponge we were originally gonna buy like a piece of styrofoam but then I was like no I want a sponge and this DIY is from my sister Sarah she uh, when I got this box because I we went to the mall today and I wanted to buy a new earring holder because of the problem I have with the with the treble clef one um, getting stuck and whatnot and I was like, what do we do? And then Sarah was like, why don't you buy a box and put like a piece of foam in there? And so that's what we're doing. And so I bought a sponge. Okay, so my next pair of earrings are these little kitty cats, little silver kitty cats with pink bellies. And they're my second pair of earrings I ever bought. They actually, I bought them with my strawberries when I first got my ears pierced, the day I did. So there's those ones, they're pretty cute warm to work a couple of times and people kept complimenting them okay this is going so much more smooth than when I was trying to jam them into the felt felt is really tough I'm trying to like space them out evenly so that I have enough room for all of them because I am obviously planning on buying more earrings in the future so I want to make sure I can save room so I don't have to buy another box because I wouldn't want to okay the next pair I have I bought them today they're new they're little unicorns pink unicorns with like a gold mane and a white spot on the head <laughs> man this is not focusing oh well they're cute and I love unicorns so I'm sorry if this video is like kind of super boring but like I literally don't know what to do anymore <laughs> so I thought DIY slash earring haul because I like my earrings so my next are really funny but the backings are in the backing box um, but okay so there are these cats and the fronts are cat fronts and then the backs are cat butts and it looks like you have a cat going through your ear and I think they're really cute and they have little pearl necklaces on focus I tap the screen a couple times no it's not gonna focus okay well you get the point so yeah I have the butts in this box um yeah but there's little black cats I have a lot of cat earrings and a lot of heart shaped earrings I don't know why but I do so well I really like cats they're my favorite animal and hearts are like my favorite shape do people have a favorite shape because I do I have a favorite shape favorite color favorite number favorite animal everything <laughs> my favorite number is 26 fun fact <laughs> anyway back to earrings um, I got these ones today. These ones are also new. Um, they're little unicorn cats. They're blue and they have little smiley cats with a unicorn horn. Focus. Anyway, I got them today and they're really cute. Uh, and I'm excited to start wearing all these new earrings and all my old ones. I mean, I only got my ears pierced a little over a year ago. I know, right? Pathetic. But yeah, I... <laughs> I was 16 when I got them pierced and <laughs> I'm in a Claire's full of five-year-olds and they're all staring at me while I'm in the chair waiting to get my ears pierced and I'm freaking out because I don't like like needles and stuff. I got a shot in my arm the other day and it still hurts and I was like freaking out and all these kids are just like 
whoa. I was like, oh, okay. I was uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, so uh, these ones are also new. I got them today. They are rainbow cat heads. Told you I had a lot of cat earrings. So the rainbow and they're so cute. Um, and like just stylish, man. I like being stylish. So there's those ones. Let me show you the box so far. Look how beautiful and organized that is. <laughs> I buy all my earrings from Claire's because I like them. <laughs> Except for these ones. I made them. I made little ah, made little pokeball earrings. Because I'm creative that way. And they're really cute and yeah, I made them and they're, they're little white buttons that I uh, colored red with a sharpie and then I drew like the little black line in the middle with a black sharpie of course and then I painted over them with clear nail polish and then I like hot glued a an earring on to them and made myself some pokeball earrings these next ones are my first pair of earrings I've ever gotten in my life and that was when I was like I want to say I was six seven or eight in between six and eight when I got these um and that was way before I got my ears pierced um mainly because I also got a ring with it it was like a big ring with a paw print these are little paw prints with little pink diamonds um they came with a ring and I wanted the ring so I ended up getting earrings with them oh well so now I have them and I can wear them so the strawberries aren't actually my first ever pair of earrings, but they're the first ones that I bought. Wait, the first ones that I bought after I got my ears pierced. But I've had these for years. And, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> there. So these next ones I got for Christmas. They're really tiny and really delicate. They're handmade. They're from Greece, I believe, and they're little treble clefs. They are super tiny and super adorable and very delicate, so I'm really careful with them. But yeah, they were a Christmas gift and uh, I love them. I like treble clefs, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, can you even see them? I'm not even like showing you s me sticking the need the the earrings into the foam. Oh well. All right, so the next ones that I'm showing you are also from Christmas. They are little Eggo waffles because Stranger Things. Um, yeah, I got these ones for Christmas as well. Um, I think these ones are also handmade. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember where my mom got them. I, all I know is that she ordered them online. She ordered both pairs online. The music notes and the waffles. Okay, so now, right here, we're going to save this little space for these earrings that I'm wearing right now. Um, because I won't sleep with these because the backs poke into my neck when I lay down. So I usually just wear my starter earrings. I'm actually gonna do that right I'm actually gonna change my earrings right now because I'll forget about them at night. So you're gonna watch me change my earrings. <laughs> Let me grab my starter ones real quick. So these are my little starter ones. We're gonna set them here. We're going to um let me remove the cuff. It's not a piercing, it's just a little cuff. So I'm just gonna I'll put them in the box. I have a little box of necklaces and stuff and I keep it there okay oh wait before I do anything else look at my look at my tank top I slay all day it's my favorite <laughs> okay let's get these earrings out Little rainbow heart, see? They're sparkly and rainbow and heart shaped. <laughs> it's 
Get in the sponge. There we go. Now I'll put the backings in this little box. It's um, a box that once contained earbuds. There's a cat hair. Oh my gosh. Literally cat hair everywhere. I don't even know why. Jackie, stop. <laughs> stop shedding. Also, if you guys heard a beep, that was my watch. Don't worry. I forgot where I put my packing box. Alright. Perfect. Now we're going to put in my little silver earrings. Okay. So these ones are nice because the backs stay like that. And so the sharp part doesn't poke into my neck when I sleep. And plus, I'm afraid of... I don't want my holes to close because if they do, I'm never getting my ears pierced again. Because I didn't like the experience at all. It was horrible. It was painful and embarrassing, quite frankly, because the ladies at Claire's were like... It's okay, sweetie. It'll be over in a second. And I'm like, just do it. Just pierce my ear. It was, ugh, it was crazy. I was 16, man. Like, dude. <laughs> Alrighty. That went faster than I thought it would because usually I'm really bad at just putting my earrings in. That's why I don't change them because I'm so lazy. Bam. Perfect. Okay, back to my other earrings. Okay, so the next pair I have are also really cool. They're these little skulls, but they also come with a full body. I got them at Walmart, and uh, I, I got them for ha uh, for Halloween So because I love Halloween. And uh, so I got special earrings for the special occasion. My next pair are little rose gold colored bows. I wore these to the snowball dance. And they're also very pretty. I love them. They're so simple and delicate looking. And I love rose gold. It's one of my favorite colors. Rose gold. <laughs> anyway, the next ones I got are Christmas themed. They're little pink gift bows that you would put on a gift and I got these at Claire's as well and uh, I wore them to work around Christmas time and I kept getting a lot of compliments they were like oh my gosh your earrings are so cute um so there's those ones now we're going towards all my hanging earrings now I don't wear them very often because I'm not used to them I usually just wear studs but I have a few pairs I have one two three four five, six, seven pairs of hanging earrings. I've only worn one pair out in public, so. So the first one I have are these little dangly-ish gold half hoops. Got them from my grandma. Thanks, grandma. They're beautiful. So, ah, uh, get in. Ooh, poked right through that sponge. Okay. The next one are homemade. My sister made them for me. Thanks, Sarah. They are seashells that we found on the beach that were literally opposites. And she hot glued earring backings on. This one has an orange middle and white edges. And this one has a white ed or white middle and orange edges. That's awesome. So, thanks, Sarah. You're the bestest, bestest, bestest sister ever. Stick those here. Yes. All right. Almost done. My next pair are little gold hoops that I got at Kohl's. Because <laughs> who doesn't love a good pair of tiny gold hoops? So. I don't know how I'm going to. Okay, whatever. My next pair are these little beautiful dangly rainbow hearts well got them at Myrtle Beach and uh, they were handmade I believe by
by a lady and she was selling them at this flea market. There's like a flea market up there and we go there every year. They're, pre they're pretty cute. The next pair are also handmade from the flea market at Myrtle Beach and they're little Pikachus! A Pika! And that's why I made the Pokeball earrings because I was like, oh my gosh, I have Pikachu. Let's make some Pokeball ones. So there's those ones. I only have two pairs left. Two, One is new and one is from a birthday present. So this one is a birthday present from my friend Emily. They're little silver dangly cats and that was I got them before I got my ears pierced so I was excited to get my ears pierced after that. And I still haven't worn them. I've put them in before but I haven't worn them like out yet. And I will eventually. I'm just not used to the feeling. And my last pair of earrings, which are new that I bought today, are heart-shaped, but they have tiny little heart-shaped confettis inside. And they're super cute and stylish. And they are just perfect to complete my collection for now. And it looks like I am all out of space in my box, so if I get more earrings, they will have to go in a different box. I'll just buy a new one. So here they are, folks. <laughs> All my earrings. They are so beautiful, and this is so nice. Do this, do this. If you have earrings and you need somewhere to put them, do this. It is nice, it's easy, and it takes literally five seconds to put together. And, uh, yeah. So, it's, it's amazing, and look, closes perfectly, locks up, perfect, but I kind of, I should put my backings in there, <laughs> I'm just going to set them on top for now because I don't know where else to put them, put them there, perfect, and now I have this little cushion, anyone want this? Just kidding, I'm not kidding, I'm probably just going to throw it in the playroom and forget about it. So bam, perfect little storage container for your earrings, it's got a handle on it. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what this was, earring haul, there you go, who doesn't love a good, it's like a fashion thing I guess. So uh, I will see you guys next week. Um, follow me on Instagram at Heather Sassy Cat. I'll put the link below. You can see posts. I'll start to post more like random stuff instead of just like my thumbnail and be like, go watch. Um, I'll try to be more active. But uh, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later with another awesome video. I'll think of something. Um, right now I'm just kind of like, it's coming towards the end of summer, I'm getting ready for school, and I'm just like, I'm trying to like fit everything in before I start school. So, and I've been working, and I've been going out a lot lately, so, yeah. I've said so like five times. Oh well. Well, I'm gonna go now, <laughs> before this gets awkward, because I'm an awkward person. Um, and I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing with my sister. And then probably some Minecraft, because I still play that. Don't judge me. <sighs> well, it was fun. So, <laughs> I will see you guys next week. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for being patient with me and my randomness. So, yeah. Stay beautiful.